G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Western Wanderers. Uh, we're heading down to Siesta Park, chasing squid for the weekend. It's um, Friday morning about it was 8 o'clock. And um, we're nearly there, I think we just go and catch up to Bunbury now. It's not long on the boat in the water, fish for a bit, and then go check into our combination this afternoon around 2. Hopefully have a nice feed of squid by then. And um, yeah, it wasn't allowed to bring the dive gear on this trip because teens were a bit bully. So, So we're now on the boat, um, we just launched at the Abbey boat ramp and we just found a little spot of seagrass to hopefully catch some squid. It's quite a nice day, there's just a light breeze, Nick's just rigging up the rods, just picking out the best squid jigs. Tegan's on here with a squiddy. Squiddy! Fair few going now. Beautiful day down here too. Nice bit of a breeze to get the boat moving. Beauty. Pull them in. Got another squid here. It's all going off. Oh. Take on net duty. <laughs> Thank you. Sweetie. Still going off, got this one dragging behind. Just made a move out to 12 meters to get a little bit more depth. Probably find some bigger squid. Seems like it might have paid off. Not bad. Not huge, but not bad. Tinga just got on to a big squid. What do you got, Tegan? A giant squid. Giant squid. Oh, yeah, I'm it. There's another squid underneath my squid, so Nick's just quickly grabbing. Oh, I can't really do this one under. There it is, got it. He's got it! Hey! <laughs> that is a good squid too, you're gonna get it. Look at that. What a monster. Go, There's yeah. another one here. I'm oh, gonna one handle. Hey, two good two. squid. Woohoo! Get on. Look at that, double trouble. Where there's one, there's always another. Accent. Got what do you there, Nick? The hat. <laughs> oh, it's like stringing on my face. <laughs> oh. Making a bit of mess in the boat here. Yeah. Taking on to a big squid here. Big... I just did a run. There's some whales over there. You won't be able to see it though. Here and breathing. And taking on to a monster squid. Oh, look at the size of it. <laughs> what a monster. Woohoo! Unfortunately, didn't get the camera on in time. So you didn't get to sh hear the um, drag going off, but it took a few runs, that's for sure. Ooh. You can't get that on film, that kind of feeling when you hear it, and it like, you know it's the end of how to like. That's a good one.
We just arrived at Siesta Park. We're just staying here for the night. Um, we'll just head on to reception and check in. We'll show you where we're staying. So we just arrived at our little villa for the night. Just parked up the car and the boat. It's just started to rain. So I'll show you what inside looks like. So we just got the little balcony, grass, come on inside, just got a little living room, kitchen, and it's got two bedrooms, bedroom one, Bedroom two, and just a little laundry, little bathroom. So it's about three o'clock now. I've just come back from squidding. Um, we just checked into our accommodation at Siesta Park, which we just sort of saw. Um, so now time to clean the squid, clean the boat, and then we've got to head into town to the shops to get some supplies for tonight. Tegan and her um, squid catastrophe, <laughs> as you should call it. She's gone a bit, bit crazy with the old squilly dillies. Now it'll be a good feed to take home for the family. Mind you, I don't reckon they will all feed her. Fried rice and squid for the next, like, what, four days? Breakfast, lunch, and tea. There's the cruiser. Oh, squiddy sunnies. Oh, they're all covered in bubbles. Oh. You right there? Yeah, you got enough squid? Oh, that's a good squid. And keep splashing. Yeah, day one, pretty much done. Time to clean up, go buy some fried rice from Chinese place and okay. cook up some squid rings. Just down at Jetty. Just gotta clean our squid. Just cleaned our squid. We've got a nice bag of squid tubes and squid heads for tomorrow's staff mission. It's nice and clear out there at the moment. Hopefully, find a few. Beautiful place here to park. Absolutely love it. At night, there's um, possums and even fire. fires. You hear run across the rooftops. Beach enclosure has been removed for the season. November. Hmm. Hmm. We're just down at Busselton Jetty. There's a fair bit of weed, yeah. as you can see. We're just waiting for our Chinese to be ready and then we'll head mm, home and eat Chinese, Chinese and squid. Haven't mm. eaten all day. <laughs> bit silly, but you know. <laughs> Tegan running in to grab some delicious Chinese. Uh, if you're ever in Bustleton, Dynasty Chinese is delicious. It's one of the main highlights when we come down here. Love the place. It's uh, one of the main strips at Bustleton. And yeah, so that's pretty much us done for the day. We're both knackered, got some good squid. Can't wait to cook when we get home. And yeah, looking forward to dinner for sure. Just back home now, got the heater on, got some Chinese fried rice, which is our pork, honey chicken, yum! <laughs> Tegan's making a bit of a mess over here, but backpacking up, where'd they go? Mm. Oh. Got some squiddies to take home for the family. That's a good chew, look at that one. We're just cleaning all the yeah, pack them up and the family are looking forward to a feed and we've got breakfast tomorrow sorted as well. So I've just cleaned all the scooches, I've just popped them into a Ziploc bag. Um, so we're just going to seal them up so we can pop them in the freezer to take home. Um, so yeah, what we do is just dunk the Ziploc bag underwater and then zip it up just so the air can get out and submerge it so all the air can get out and then zip it up the rest of the way 
and it's all nicely nut sealed for the trip home. So it's Saturday morning. There's pretty much no wind outside, so it's complete glass off out there. And we're just making up some pancakes. Nick's on pancakes this morning. So we're gonna have something to eat and then head out this afternoon. Morning guys, um, it's quite a nice morning this morning with barely any wind, so we're just gonna get the drone up, see what the ocean looks like today. Just got a nice coffee. Just got a nice coffee and now we're just heading to the taco shop just to get some bait for tonight. And some clues. And a clue and how to fish. Get up to oceans and see what they know. We're just at Abbey Beach boat ramp now. We're gonna launch the boat. It's about 12 o'clock now, so we'll probably stay out for the rest of the afternoon. Hopefully catch a few more squid and then set up and anchor up to catch, hopefully catch some pink stuffer. So we just ended up going out from the marina boat ramp just because the Abbey Beach boat ramp um, is a bit swelly and the wind was coming straight at us so it's a bit difficult to launch. Yeah, it wasn't worth the hassle. Not get, not worth getting the um, car covered in salt. So we're just driving through the marina now, um, out to the ocean. Hopefully, it's not too rough. Tegan's on. I don't know what it is. It doesn't hasn't taken much string though. So, but the sound is going off. Pretty awesome. I guess we'll see what it is. What is it? Oh, it's little Jew! Oh, sick! Little Jewy, so we'll get that back, take a quick photo and put it back. Tegan's just caught a Jewy. Little fellow, just about to let him go. Oop, sorry. Just about to let little Jewy go. Here he goes. Okay. Oh. Tegan's on again. We just finished up releasing that chewy and she's on again. Should have just kept the camera rolling. She's got some good head shakes, might be another little one. Sounder is going off. It's absolutely awesome. Been sounding around for a while, putting in the time. Just fiddling with the sounder settings and work it out. Tegan with a little Jewish just pulled up, went 56, so we're gonna probably slap this one in the esky. Great tasty meal for the two of us staying down here. Yoohoo! <laughs> what a day. Nothing for hours. We finally come across the jackpot, anchored up, put some billy into it. I see stuff like that. Tegan, Tegan is on one more time. Let's see what it is. Quick. We've got another little Jewy here. Beautiful little specimen. Get him back quick smart. Nick's just gonna have a go at trying to fish. Oh, He's God. pretty inexperienced, usually under the water, shooting them, now on top of the water. Let's see if we can actually catch something. Probably not. <laughs>
from our day on the water. Um, it's about seven o'clock now, so we ended up with the one dewfish fish that you would have seen and about four squid. We no, just six. about six squid. We just caught um, as we were coming back in just on sunset pretty much. So we're just cooking up the squid for dinner, probably have that with our leftover rice from last night. Nick's doing a good job cooking up the squid. Just coated mm. it in some herb and garlic crumbs. <laughs> Yummy! So it's now Sunday morning and we've just gotten ready and we're going to head to Margaret River. Um, planning on going to the chocolate factory, probably grab some lunch and just go for a little drive around the area. It's quite windy today, so it's probably best just to stick on land. Just at the chocolate factory. Let's go get some chocolate. Free chocolate. So we just went to the chocolate factory and now we feel really sick because we ate too much chocolate. Have no <laughs> um, so we're just probably going to head to the coast for a drive, check out what's happening around Margaret River. We're just at Nobby Head, um, just pulled in to have a quick look. The water looks pretty crystal clear, so we might try and get the drone up while the wind stopped a bit. Let's see how we go.
we're just traveling back to Basilton from Hamlin Bay area um, through a bush track. Yeah. So we just came to this little spot just north of Hamlin Bay. It was a bit of a four wheel drive track in, um, but it's absolutely beautiful. There's a massive cliff and you can drive along the beach and everything. So we might fly the drone and see what we can find. So we just came off that little dirt track. It was a, a bit tight for us, but now we're back on the main road. And we'll start heading home now. We're just at Conti Springs now, um, as you can see all the rock pools down there, some big cliffs. So we're just at Canal Rocks, um, watching the sunset. You can use vest. My vest on. Doesn't mm. look button up, but you know, I'll be right. <laughs> so we're just here to watch the sunset, and then we're gonna head on to Dunsfara to get some food, and then head back to our accommodation.
So we've just finished washing down the car and the boat. It's so clean. So, so we've just um, arrived home. It's a, about four o'clock now, Monday afternoon. Um, so everything's been washed down, cleaned up. And tonight's dinner will be squid and jewfish, which I'm looking forward to. Thanks for watching our little trip down south. Um, make sure you head over to our Instagram, give that a follow, and make sure you subscribe and keep on watching for next time.